It's the Black Real Estate Dialogue. Tune in. Tune in. cool just to hear your journey to architecture um and so when did real estate come into the picture when did you figure out like all right cool like i want to buy a property i want to invest like how did that come about i it was actually at the um towards the beginning of the pandemic um i was living in manhattan in a really dope three-bedroom apartment with two other dope people and um we were locked in. We were we couldn't go anywhere. So I wanted to make the most of my time and have like an artistic um, um, express myself artistically. So I actually decided to and I designed a 758 square foot cabin. Um, it was you know 18 by 20, 18 by 24 feet um, with a loft, and the idea was to design it and build it, acquire the land to build it and um, go through that entire process. And I thought that that would be my way of getting, finally getting into real estate and owning property because that's something I've always wanted to do. And I talked about it with people um, that have property and one, one person, my boss actually, who's super amazing and has had a tremendous influence on my life uh, he was just like, Rashida, go buy a house. Um, go buy a house first. And I was like, oh, okay, I could do that. Yeah. Um, because I realized that getting the funding to build a house from the foundation up, a cabin, to it's just was just too expensive. Um, but that's something I definitely want to come back to um, in the future. Um, so, yeah, I realized... I was, I was saving a lot of cash from not having to pay my student loans. And I said, hey, let me figure out how I can buy a house. Um, and I got onto the idea pretty quickly of buying a multifamily so I can live in it and then also have the other uh, units pay the, pay the rent or pay the mortgage. So that was the goal from the beginning. And... Um, I initially decided that I wanted to buy something in Southern Westchester, but you know, it's, if you're getting something in Southern Westchester, it would be in the two towns that I was thinking of either Yonkers or Mount Vernon. They, the, anything that was in my price range was a dilapidated blighted property mm -hmm. that would take tremendous amount of uh, cash to get to get to to have a to be occupiable to be occupied um or so i had to push in and everything else was just way way too far out of my price range so anything i could afford mm -hmm. so i decided to go a little i just i expanded my search and when i found a space in that i could that was affordable that's when i really decided okay, I'm actually going to do this because there are spaces and properties out there that I can acquire that I can afford. Got it. So, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so can you talk to us about the process just of like um, figuring out what you could afford and, you know, just looking at different properties? Like what was that process like for you, especially just being so brand new to everything? Can, can you talk to us more about that? I uh, did a lot of research on different types of mortgage, uh, different types of loans I can get. Um, and right away, I found the FHA loan. It was really appealing, 3.5% down. Um, so I kind of ran with that number um, of, okay, what can I put down and then what my, my closing costs would potentially be. So I kept those numbers in mind. Um, I did a lot of research on your from your podcast to um, YouTube. I, I'm a graduate of YouTube University all day. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, so yeah, so as far as like closing costs, closing costs and the down payment, that's what I really, really ran with. So yeah, so I decided my boss actually was when I was, you know, I was like, hey, like I got all these, spaces that I want to um, 
invest in and how do I get started? How do I get started? And he was just like, get pre-approved. And he actually connected me to his, the bank that he, his broker that he worked with on his house and some of his properties. So it was very serendipitous. She, he connected us in an email and I think like 30, not even 30 seconds later, she followed up with an e- with a call. And um, she made me feel really welcomed, really comforted and knew that this was something that I was doing for the first time. And you could tell that she's been down this road before many times. So she explained everything to me in a very easy way to follow. Um, it was all about getting her a, just a bunch of paperwork, a bunch of information about myself. Um, so she could draft up this pre-approval. She needed to know where I was looking, um, you know, what type of house, you know, the loan type that I wanted, I wanted to get, I wanted to use. Um, yeah. So that was pretty straightforward. Uh, everything, every time I gave her something, she would just throw it back and hand me this and that. And it was really straightforward, really simple. I thought it was going to be something that was like very intimidating, but it wasn't. It was very easy, very straightforward. Got two pre-approvals, one for a two family and one for a single family. And um, from there, that was great because I was able to, um, which I didn't know because I was so new to the process. Yeah. When I wanted to look at, at properties, people would say, um, do you have a pre-approval? And I was like, well, yeah, I do. I actually do have a pre-approval. And they're like, great, you can come see the place. So, Yeah. So I got that. And then, so after I got the pre-approval, then I was searching and I wound up, I don't know if I said this already, but I landed in Newburgh. Mm -hmm. Um, I did a lot of research on Newburgh. I had heard about it from, in grad school, one of our professors has invested, um, he has some property up there. And um, he also brought in somebody else to speak to our class who has um, done a, amazing work up there. She's this brilliant black woman who is just killing it up there. Um, and she, I was really inspired by why she picked Newburgh, it, particularly before the pandemic. I picked Newburgh during the pandemic for very different reasons than, before, than the waves that have come before. Um, Newburgh is a city that's 60 miles from New York City and it's considered or the it, people call it the sixth borough. Um, it has a deep architectural history. The buildings are beautiful. Um, the location is beautiful. It's right across the the Hudson from the Hudson River from uh, Beacon, which is has a stop on the metro north so you Mm -hmm. can go right into grand central or new york city um so there was a a, those are the those are the things that really appealed to me and i developed in my search or i came across in my search um i also realized that there was a lot of property there um they have a land bank that you can um bid on properties for uh, they're mostly dilapidated properties that have been, you know, in blight for many years, decades even. And I, I didn't go that route though. I was able to go up there and see a few properties. At first, I was working with um, some a gentleman from a realtor from Realtor.com. They have a really cool um, system where they just. They, they saw that I was searching for stuff and they said, hey, do you want a realtor to work with you? And I was like, why not? I mean, sure, like that sounds fantastic. I didn't have to like go searching for one. Yeah. So we got, we got connected and um, he, I liked what he was saying. I liked the fact that he, I like what he was saying and we just kind of clicked from the beginning and we, he got a, we put a list together. I think I gave him, you know, five or six properties every day that I wanted to see and he would make it work. And um, so, yeah, so at first searching for the properties, there was one day where I took a vacation day and I just went up to Newburgh and I saw every single house that was on 
um, the market. And I just drove around, got a feel for the city. I needed to, I needed, it was one thing to look at it in the, on the computer in the phone, but it's another thing to actually be there, see it. Hi everyone, Sam here from Black Real Estate Dialogue. Make sure to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button and to visit us at blackrealestatedialogue.com.